Hello, let's do the New York Times hard Sudoku for June 19th, 2023. All right, let's start with our normal scanning. Um, oh, so this is, this is really interesting geometry because notice the one and the eight are looking in here. Um, and so that means one and eight have to go in the box somewhere and there's only two places for them. So we immediately get a one eight pair. Um, I also see these two sixes looking up. So that's the six and then this is another pair. Um, it's four and seven. That's a good start. All right, so now we have these four, the four is looking in. So four is up here somewhere. Um, the eight, no. We have two twos looking in. Oh, and another one. So two is placed. So this is a this is a triple. I think it's always worth filling triples. Three, four, no, four, not four. Um, five and nine. Ah, oh, yes, I could have seen the three five looking up. Um, making that a nine. So now we have a three five pair here. This is going nicely. All right. So I should I should be doing more scanning rather than um, filling candidates. Uh, I know there's four left here, but it's not it's not the time to be doing that. It overwhelms me when I have too many placed. Um, candidates but these are fine like by values are perfectly acceptable um twos this two looks down this two looks up okay so we can place this two now that joins this two placing this two five goes in one of these i guess not there um seven goes up here somewhere All right, I play, what did I place? I placed the six, I placed this nine. That joins this nine. Okay, so there's a nine here. Um, I guess I haven't done vertical scanning yet, but I haven't finished my horizontal scanning yet. So we got, we got some decent stuff over here. The nine looks in, so nine is, actually nine is placed, wow. Because we have these two nines. So now these two nines join and force nines over here. Do I have anything else? Seven in this row, actually, because of this seven, it can only go in one of these two. I guess we have these pointing in as well. Could have done that that way. Um, do we already have a two in the row? All right, let's look. Let's look down here. Two threes look in. Places a three immediately. Um, eights just up here somewhere. Seven down here somewhere. The threes we already have. Okay. There's like, mm, oh, the twos actually. Twos look down, two looks in. I was going to say there's nothing going on with that box. Then I saw the two twos looking in. I haven't done vertical scanning yet, but I might as well start. Um, seven? No, it's just this one. Okay, I'm not seeing, is there anything like crossing in? Eights do. So there's an eight in one of those two. Um, okay, this column does need a six and a nine. This, this cell can't be that. Um, that's not, wait, nine. Look at that. We've got nine, nine, and nine looking in. And nine. <laughs> There's only one place for nine in the column. Um, that's cool. What else do we need? We need one, uh, one, five, six, seven. Five is in one of these two. Seven's in one of these two. I don't see anything with six. Oh, no, actually, this can't be six. All right, I'm not going to center mark cells at this time. I think I haven't finished my scanning yet, and it's simpler to just do normal scanning than to overwhelm the grid with pencil. I'm going to, I'm trying to pencil mark less. I'm trying to follow my own advice and pencil mark less. Um, it's very tempting to, right? Okay, this three looks in. I didn't see this earlier, but there's a three up here with the four. Um, what about this column? Does it need any of these digits? It needs a three. Right, so three is actually placed in the column. 
So now it also needs a 4 and a 5 and a 6. 4, 5, 6. This can't be 4. I'm going to fill a 5, 6 because... So then this is 4, 5. I want I want to fill it four five six. <laughs> can't help I can't help myself. Um, it's fine. Triples are usually fine. All right, let's keep scanning. Did I miss anything vertically here? I did a lot. Oh wait, this one eight pair. When I marked the eights, I forgot about the one eight pair. Of course. Um. What's this column need? Does it need the nine or the three? No. Does it need the two or the six? It needs the two. Aha. Two is placed. This two sees here. This two sees these two. This two sees this one. Two is placed in the column. Um, I don't immediately see that two doing anything. We already had. We already had four twos looking in. <laughs> so there you go. Um, <clears throat> Oh, twos are just done. We had all the twos except that one placed. Uh, we also need a four. We need a five. Five's here. All right. Oh, seven. No, seven's here. Okay, there's probably something else to find. Um. I placed a bunch of nines. Yeah, there, I should be able to place more, right? Actually, nines are here. And nines are here. I think that's it. Okay. So twos are done. Nines are basically done, other than these, this little wing here. Um, All right, what am I not seeing? I could start filling digits, but I'm trying to avoid doing that too early. Um, What about restricted cells? This can't be seven. We need a seven. Yeah, we need a seven in this row. It's over here. Whoops. Press the wrong button. Um, Not sure what which box to look at here. Um, okay, so what's the other digit besides four, five, six? It's a one. So one's in one of these two. Does that that places the one in this box? Okay, that was important. I guess I could have just seen one in this column. Um, what else is going on in this column? One, two, three. We need a four, six, and seven. Okay, I'm going to fill it. This one can't be six. This one can't be four. These are one, four, five, six. This can't be the six. Otherwise, not interesting. What's the other digit besides four, five, six, and seven? Eight. So eight is here. Okay because I could have seen that. Um, what about this quad? Is this quad interesting? One, two, uh, one, we have the three, five. So one, six, seven, nine. Can't be seven. Not really. Uh, 
I guess this five joins this five to look over. So fives are over here. Ah, so where's five in this column? Indeed. Yes, five is placed in this column. That's going to help a lot. So that's a five, that's a seven, that's a four. Good stuff. This is now a pair. That's got to be worth filling. We need one and eight. Ah, yes, it was worth. This can't be eight. I probably could have seen that. Filling is just often the quickest way to just determine that. Um, okay, we just placed some eights. We just placed, actually, we placed a bunch of digits. Yeah, we placed these two sevens. Let's follow through on what we placed. The problem is remembering everything that we've done because it cascades so quickly. Um, this is going to be what? One and six. So the six goes here and the one goes here because there's a one here. These are what? Also one? One, six, nine? I'm going to fill that. We have a bunch of di place digits now, so I feel like just finding the right thing will collapse the rest of it. Um, so I'm going to start filling candidates. We need three, four, and five here. We know that can't be five. So we have a three, four, five triple here, so this is going to be one, six, nine. That's not a nine. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Uh, three in this column? No. Feels like we're finishing up. How about this box? We have one, two, we need three, four, six, seven. But maybe there's something, oh, the six. I must have placed a six recently because I, I did not notice that six was hidden in there until I filled it. Um, okay, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not following through on all the digits that I'm placing. So I placed this six. Can that follow through? Yep, that's a six, that's a five, that's a one. These are not ones. Okay, we've got five. Let's keep looking at sixes. Um, or not. They're here. Okay. Um, yeah, they're here as well. Okay, what did I ask? What else did I place? Did I place an eight? Place this four. All right, well, we just got to keep looking. This box has three left now. Uh, four, six, nine. Oops. Right, the six, nine looking in makes that a four. Okay, make it single. Uh, three five pair doesn't help. This is a six nine pair though, so oh we already have six and nine in the box though. But this is a triple regardless. This is a pair, seven and what? Five and seven. So we know the order. That's the five. Okay, good. We place all these digits. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of not having enough penciled now. So penciling will just finish this puzzle. This is three or four. This triple is one, four, and eight. The triple in this box, three, four. Ah, so this is a this is a single. I just don't know what it is. Eight. There we go. Now our marks are doing their job. That's the four. That's the six. And these are seven and eight. Nice. All right, not too bad, 1430. Um, yeah, I don't think there was anything super special about this puzzle. Um, I don't recall any like crazy spots. The, the opening was smooth. Um, I think there were a couple points where I didn't quite follow through on digits I placed, which is something I'm trying to work on, but I have a tough time remembering like 
everything that happened recently. I wonder if I can come up with like a coloring strategy or something to when I place a digit to remind myself, like color it and then uncolor it once I've used it. That might be that might be something to try tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll give that a try. See if that's just cumbersome or or ends up helping. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you did, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.